We have a clinical genomics lab that does a lot of traditional molecular diagnostic testing, and we have uh, clinical genomics now, which is a lot of next-gen sequencing tests, one of which is a solid tumor panel um, that's close to 400 genes that we use to profile variety of solid tumors, in particular brain tumor samples. Tumor samples are, can be very challenging for a variety of reasons. Um, the first is the nucleic acid, you, the DNA that you extract is degraded. And so it makes it challenging. You need assays that can, um, are amenable to and work robustly with degraded DNA. The second are that tumors are very heterogeneous. Um, you have differing, depending on the specimen, you may have a different amount of um, tumor content. Some can be very borderline, what you can actually see on an array or call from an NGS assay. Others have very high tumor content that make the analysis much more easy to um, interpret. You also have the challenge of you can have multiple clones and so you can have interpretation can become even more complex with that as well. In the genomics lab, we have um, next generation sequencing based targeted panels. One for solid tumors, the 397 gene panel. We have a uh, smaller panel of just over 100 genes for hematologic malignancies. And then we also have a smaller panel, about 100 genes or so, for cardiomyopathies and arrhythmias for inherited, um, looking for inherited mutations. Um, on the cytogenetics, cytogenomics lab, we have microarray platform. We do two different types of arrays. One is the OncoScan platform for solid tumors, and the other platform is a cytoscan for our constitutional cases. Primarily, they're um, done on babies with some type of um, defect at birth. Mm -hmm. We had, um, early on when we brought OncoScan on, um, we really, we were looking for a platform that had nice analysis features, but also the other big important aspect of it was um, the annotation. And as we moved from Nexus copy number to Nexus clinical, um, and as each iteration of Nexus Clinical comes out, it adds more features, and we really, um, really like all of the annotation tools that goes in addition to the analysis tools. We rely a lot on current annotation, current content, and the software does a very nice job of keeping up with current annotation. OMIM genes, if we're doing a constitutional case, or cancer genes, etc. cetera. Um, there's a lot of very nice filtering tools um, for a whole host of different, um, whatever your application is, you can build lots and lots of flexibility um, where you can build different tools into how you want to filter, how you want to prioritize. A pleasure to work with, uh, very collaborative, which I very much appreciate, um, very responsive to ideas, wish lists, things that make our lives easier. They um, have been very responsive and, and always get back to me right away whenever I have a question or you know have run into a problem. So it's, it's been a great collaboration working with them.